Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs News Update thingamajiggies. And in today's jiggy, we're going to talk about some people that got fired. We're going to talk about some people that got hired. I'll give my thoughts on the Jonathan Hubert all contract and tell you why I think this is great for the Habs. And much, much more. But first, Jonathan Drouin, everybody's favorite kitten, is back. He's on the ice, he's playing road hockey, he's doing everything. Look at him, it looks like he's having a lot of fun. That's right. After having surgery in April, he's putting that Edward scissor hand to the test early. He's been playing some tree-on-tree -tree hockey with guys like Chris Letang and Jonathan Huberto. And, as most of you are all aware, this is a pretty big year for Drouin. This is a contract year, okay? This could make or break him. Throughout this entire upcoming season, every eye around the league is going to be locked on this guy. And... Depending on what kind of a position the Canadians are in by the trade deadline, Johnny Drouin could become a perfect rental player for another team. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Is this the end of the line for Mr. Drouin? Moving on to another Jonathan, Huberto, who also just so happens to be playing in this same tree on tree league with Drouin. Look at that, they're teammates. Well, his pockets just got pretty full. This Ted DiBiase million dollar man just got a big pay raise. 29 year old Huberto signed a contract with the Flames, which averages out to about $10.5 million per season. And in my opinion, this is good news for the Habs, and I'm going to tell you why. This deal, it uh, might sound good in the present, it sounds good right now, but in the future, four to five years down the road, this could look like pure diarrhea, okay? This could get bad, fast. The guy did have over 100 points last season, but we've been down this road before with a guy, huh? Getting 10.5 million bucks. I'd be terrified having a guy like that for that kind of money four or five years from now. Just saying. Next up on the list, Mark Dumont has been fired by the Montreal Canadiens. I'm not gonna lie, I seen all the fuss, so I kinda had to look into this one a little bit. I guess this guy was some kind of a content creator for the Canadians. Kinda like me, but you know, a lot more sensible. <sighs> not like me at all. And for whatever reason, Kent Hughes and the Doom Squad gave him his pink slip. Dumont himself made a tweet about this, saying that he was fired during a Zoom call, and basically the reasoning was due to creative differences. But, who really knows? Maybe there was something else going on behind the scenes. I don't know, maybe he lent Logan Mayu his chick or maybe they got caught watching Baywatch together, who knows? Your guess is as good as mine on this one. Anyway, so enough about the people that have been fired. Now let's talk about a guy that's been hard, Stefan Robida. Yeah, remember him? This guy was actually drafted by the Canadians a long ass time ago. And look, he even played a few games with him back in the early 2000s. And now he makes his complete rotation and he's been hired by the Canadians as an assistant coach. So congratulations to him, and it's going to be kind of cool seeing both him and Marty St. Louis behind the Canadiens bench. As for some news about contracts and the team itself, I gotta say, it's been a little quiet lately. There's definitely still a lot of work to do between now and the preseason. We got some players that are still waiting to be signed, like newcomer Kirby Doc, and even Caden Primo right now is without a contract. There's also, you know, been a lot of talks lately about our bundle of joy, Cole Caulfield, getting signed to an extension. Even Mark Dumont, who was just canned, is trying to spell the beans on this one. So, I don't know about you, but it sounds like it could happen any minute now. And I'm curious, you know, I want to see how much and how much term he's going to get. But, I guess we got to hurry up and wait. And that does it for this quick little Habs News update. Hopefully there's some more food to feed you pigeons pretty soon. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to have a bowel movement on the like button on the way out of here. And hey, well, see you next time. See ya.